come once again so just before you go to bed preparing soul for heaven in the name of jesus christ today today i just want to welcome everybody online may god bless you may god keep you may god preserve you in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth god is a faithful god who is like unto him who is beside him who is holy as him whom can we compare with you with him he is the greatest of the greatest he is the mighty of the mightest he is el shaddai he is elohim he is the i am that i am appreciate god for his loving kindness who is like unto him who is beside him who is holy as him whom can we compare with him he is the i am that i am korea mama sent mama sent korea mama mama sent praise the living god today today's topic is I'm just going to be as relaxed as possible by the grace of God Almighty. Father, we just give you praise. Holy Spirit, just have your way. Today, we are just going to talk about killing the atalaya in your life. Killing the atalaya in your life. Atalaya is that thing, that person, whoever that will just suddenly come up and just destroy your life, destroy your future. And that's why I said anything or person that will try to destroy us any time, at any time, anything that want to truncate your future, anything that want to truncate your destiny can be an Atalaya in your life, in the name of Jesus. So when we look at Atalaya, I just want to read only the verse, verse 1 of his, uh, um, is it 2 Kings 11 verse 1, what happened? Uh, when I call, when I talk about Atalaya, it's like Second Kings eleven verse one. So I said, and when Atalaya, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royals. <coughs> Praise the Lord! What happened? To she arose and destroyed all the seed royal, all the seed royal, all her grandchildren, she killed all of them. And these ones that she has killed, they, these ones, they had future. They never fulfilled their future. They never fulfilled their destiny. She just came and she cut off their lives just like that. She cut off their lives just like that. And this can happen to anybody. I thought I could be that thing that want to destroy you suddenly. Sudden sickness just come from nowhere. And before you will, you will say Jack Robinson, that person is gone. Some people go through that sickness, and that, and that sickness is what they focus on. It's like their future is being truncated. Nothing, they don't have any more hope. They have lost hope. And we're going to destroy anything that represents itself as a talaya in our lives today. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. She woke up and she arose and she killed all the royal seeds so that she can become what she wants to become because she wants to be. She wants to be king. But I want to tell you today, mm. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, anything in your life that represents a talaya that wants to destroy you one way or the other, mm. as we pray today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, they will be destroyed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some people, they have lost hope. That as they have lost hope, they don't have any future plans. It's like their own world is finished. Due to the situation they find themselves into. Some are sickness, some are suffering from cancer. So the doctor have given them final, final, say, oh, that is it. Go home, rest, and die. May that not be our portion, the name of Jesus. That is Atalaya. We will destroy any Atalaya in our lives, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That thing that come up suddenly and want to destroy us. Today, the fire of the Holy Ghost will destroy that thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Astala Atalaya suddenly rose up. When she discovered that her son, that was the king, has died. So what happened? She rose up and all the royal seeds, she killed all of them, destroyed the future of these, these, these children. Anything that want to destroy your future. I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anything that wants to destroy your future, you destroy that thing before it destroys you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I was, I was reading somewhere where a, a man said uh, that you kill your enemies before they kill you. He said the same sword that um, um, 
Saul refused to kill King Agag. And what happened? That same sword that killed him. Sword is sword. It might not be exactly the same sword, but, but it is a sword. Praise the Lord. Therefore, we are going to pray. Anything that rose up suddenly, any sickness, any power of darkness that say you will not live to see to, uh, to fulfill your future. Today we pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I said to you, I'm going to be as calm as possible today. Please just follow me in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, if all of a sudden sickness raises up its ugly head to come and pull you down, to suddenly destroy you, all you hear is negative news, negative news, negative news. Today, destroy it. That is an Atalaya. Destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost because they suddenly want to come and cut off your future. May there not be a portion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I'm praying today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness that suddenly come up from nowhere and say, see this one, I'm tired of this one being around. I will tell you the same word they said with their mouth. That's the thing that will bury them in the name of Jesus. So we can say that God is in the God is in the business of restoring our future. God in the, is in the business of, of fulfilling our future for us. That's why in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Koryama said, Jeremiah 29, verse 11 said, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. Therefore, God's plan for your life is to give you an expected end. God's plan for your life is not suddenly the sickness just rise up and just want to destroy like that. No, because you have your future to restore. You have your future to fulfill. Therefore, if for adventure your future has been destroyed by the wicked one, by that wicked Atalaya uh, spirit, by the power of the Holy Ghost, God will restore back your future. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, if there's anybody here, please, uh, just, just tap MM. MM. I can't see my chat here. I'm trying to get my chat. I've not been able to get my chat. Kelly, can you just see if you can get my chat for me in the name of Jesus? I just want you to tap MM. MM in the name of Jesus. With God, all things are possible. There's nothing that God cannot do. Praise the Lord. The Lord, our God is in the business of restoring back our business uh, uh, in the name of Jesus. Carry a mama son to the mama. Call him a baba seke mama son to. Roko seke mama sinte mama sinte. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if you look at Philip, uh, Philippians, Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. We are going to pray. We are really going to pray. We're not going to stay on life for too long today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. He said, being, the, being confident of this very and uh, this very thing, that he that he which has begun a good thing, a good work in you, we perform it until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the will of God. He said he wants your plan to. To, uh, he, he wants to perform it. He is the one that see your plan to the expected end. He is the one that will keep it until the expected end. He will perform it. That your future cannot be uh, truncated by the wicked one, by any sickness, by anything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God in his infinite mercy, God in his infinite mercy will, will cause you to fulfill your future. If you are here today and somehow you have lost hope, Today, God will restore back your hope. Because it is in Him that we, that we live and move and have our being. And it is this God that will fulfill our, our, our future in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like in Philippians and chapter 15, verse 13. Before we get into prayer, today we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, as I said to you today, we are not going to be online for too long. We are going to pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Say, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. God has come to give you hope. So don't lose any hope. God will give you hope. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, we are master, carry mama Santa. God will give you hope. In the name of Jesus, carry mama so mama. I'm trying to uh, put in my chat button that praise the Lord. Let me just go on. It's just a distraction. Carry mama Santa, mama. Let us continue to pray. Let us just speak. If you can speak it in tongues, please speak in tongues. We are going to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any Atalaya spirit in your life that suddenly want to snuff you out, Today, let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because God has come to give you hope. He has come to give you hope. Therefore, you will live and fulfill your hope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to open your mouth to pray. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want us to pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray. Ask the Lord to protect you, protect your household, protect all your loved ones. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, ask the Lord to protect you, protect your mother, your father, protect everything that concerns you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to cry, cry out uh, as the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Mama, Rocco Sekama Sente. Holy Mama, Rocco Sekama Sinte Mama. Holy Mama, Rocco Sekama Sur Mama Santa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Mama, Rocco Sekama Sur Mama Santa. Holy Mama, as the Lord to as the Lord to protect you and protect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Korea mama ma roko se ke mama sente ori mama baba ba roko se ke mama sente in the name of our lord jesus christ open your mouth to pray that father cry unto the lord that atalaya spirit will not have any effect and will not touch me in any form in the name of jesus that atalaya spirit that that comes in form of sickness that comes in form of cancer that comes in form of depression that want to destroy your life Today, I want you to pray that this Atalaya spirit, you will not touch me. You will not suddenly snuff at my life. No matter whatever it may be, God is with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Ori mama baba roko se ke mama sinte mama ori mama mama roko se ke mama sente open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus pray 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 kuria ma santa mama sente that at last we will not be able to touch you and your family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ kuria mama sente in the name of Jesus that's why I want us to pray I want you to reject the spirit of Atalaya in any form of sickness oh kuria mama mama sente mama sente. Holy Mama Mama, Rocco se ke Mama sente Mama sente. Holy Mama Mama, Rocco se ke Mama sente. Holy Mama Mama, Rocco se ke Mama sente Mama. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kuria ma kante ke Holy Mama Mama, Holy Mama Mama, Rocco se ke Mama sente. Holy Mama Mama, Rocco se ke Mama suri Mama sente. That this Atalaya spirit, reject it, reject it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Reject it in your life. 
rejecting the life of all your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ, that it will not suddenly appear like a sickness, it will not suddenly appear like a cancer, it will not suddenly appear like depression, or whatever it may be, that will truncate your destiny. That's what I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I reject you any form of atelier spirit that want to suddenly snuff me out. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I reject you, I destroy you in my life, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to open your mouth. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Atalaya spirit is a very wicked spirit. Atalaya spirit is more wicked than the spirit of Jezebel because it carried double the, uh, the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel was the, uh, was, the, was the mother of Atalaya and Atalaya carried the double anointing wicked spirit of of Jezebel. That's the one you come, who just suddenly came and destroyed the life of, of all her grand, of her grandchildren. God forbid. And we're going to pray. Such spirit must not come around me, must not come around all my loved ones, must not come around my children, must not come along around my husband or the, all, everybody that your relative, your mother, your father. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That spirit that will come, everybody was in fear. She rose for seven years and she rose for six years. For six years, I wonder what happened to the, 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 the children of Israel. But suddenly, suddenly by the power of the Holy Ghost, on the seventh year, on the seventh year, she died, and everybody rejoiced. Ah, Start to destroy every form of Atalaya spirit in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That will suddenly come up. Today it will not come up. We are protected. Say, I am protected by the power of the Holy Ghost against the spirit of Atalaya in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to open your mouth. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Papa, today I take back my future. I take back my future in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I take back my life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't allow Atalaya spirit to kill you. Because those that he kill will never come back. That's why you have to kill Atalaya spirit before he kill you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, destroy that spirit in your life. Oh God, can't tell him my He said, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Let me tell you, there's a time for mercy, mercy prayer. There's a time of prayer for of forgive, of, of, uh, of forgiveness. There's a time you pray for your enemies. And there's a time you pray, so the enough is enough. I don't know whether if there's anybody here hearing my voice and going through one thing, one pain or the other. Today, pray that today, today, the spirit of Atalaya, you have ended in my life. You will not be effective in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, with God, all things are possible. God said they are giving you plans. The plans of an unexpected end. Why would they allow a spirit or anybody call itself witch or wizard to come and destroy you? Arise and shine for the glory of God is upon you. Arise and take your position. Arise and take your stand and stand against that spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How can Terry Mama son to Korea Mama? Korea Mama say Terry Mama son to Korea Mama said, If you don't kill your enemy, your enemies will kill you. Therefore, kill them before they kill you. In the name of our Lord Jesus, kill that sickness before that sickness kill you. By destroying by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we are my sake, my son. Oh, we are my mama, Rocco, say, come on, my son. Recover completely everything that has been destroyed in your life by this Atalaya spirit. I want you to start to recover it. Recover it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anything that has been destroyed in your life completely, God is able to restore. He said in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, he said, everything that the canker one has eaten, say he will restore. Do you know when canker one has eaten something? When the canker one, he has eaten it totally, destroy it. Sometimes when you see where the canker one is, there's nothing to talk about. But God himself said he is going to restore it. In Joel chapter 2, verse 25, he said, he said and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palm worm, my great army which I will send. No matter what, God is able to restore you back. No matter how, how difficult, say, no, this is not possible. This condition is useless. There is no need. 
He said, where, where the people have given up, where the doctors have given up, that's when God is showing up. God will show up in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are all hopes have been lost. God will show up and give you hope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he said in Romans 15, let us look at Romans 15, for those that have lost their hope, for those that said, oh, no more, everything is, no, nah, that's it. They are there last and say, ah, let death come and take me. Death will not take you. God has given you hope. In Romans 15, verse 13, Romans 15, verse 13, he said, now, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, the God of hope will fill you with, with all joy, not with some joy, with all joy. I don't know what if you are here today and you are hearing my voice and you feel that all hope is lost. It is not lost. God will restore back your hope. No matter how hopeless situation the situation may be, God is God of hope. He will restore back. He will restore back your future. Whatever that has been lost, God will, will replenish. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I, am, I don't know what whom I'm speaking to online today. It's, it's unfortunate I cannot be able to see the chat, but I want to just go on, write, I will get it back from my colleague in the name of Jesus Christ. God is able to restore back all your hope, all the lost hope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we are massacred, Mama said. In 2 Chronicles 20, 23, verse 21, he said, The people rejoice that Athaliah was destroyed out of Jerusalem. God's land, as long as you totally belong to Christ, your life and all yours is God's land. And you are going to rejoice because Ataliah will be destroyed out of your land, out of your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to rejoice that Ataliah will be destroyed, will be destroyed out of your life, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you will rejoice. You will rejoice again. You will rejoice again. He will give you joy. God will give you joy. Are you here today? You are just watching. You have given up hope. I remember, I thank God for one of um, my spiritual daughter. She lost hope. She was um, uh, she was doing her job replacement. What I think job placement or something like that. Anything anyway. And then she, the person that was um, that was meant to oversee her, I'm told already that she has failed. She has failed, and she didn't know what to do. And she quickly wrote me. And she said, this is what is going on. I said, don't worry, don't give up hope. So said, there's nothing God cannot do. She just knew that that, that year, she has, she, that the person has already told her that you are useless, you cannot, you should just know that you have failed. And she wrote me. And she has not still finished the placement. She said, maybe she has, she has to stop. Since, since they said she has failed, I said, continue. Since you still have more days to go, just go and finish it. There's nothing God cannot do. Today she called me. I was filled with joy. When all hope was lost, she thought that she would never pass it and she's going to repeat the, uh, uh, um, this year again. And she was wondering, her school fees, everything, how is she going to repeat? But you know, this God of hope, God of all hope, showed up on her behalf. And do you know what happened? She called me. He said they held a meeting on her behalf. And what happened? I said they have decided, despite the man that said she has failed, they have decided to pass her in the name of Jesus. And she was happy when she called me. She was saying, ah, God is too much. She said, God is too much. Let me tell you, God is able to restore back your hope. When they say you have failed, leave it. You will pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you have finished at the exams. Or maybe one or the other say, oh, you have gone to, a, to an interview. You feel that you do not do well in this interview. Let me tell you, what you are saying and what you are hearing is a different bargain. Maybe you are saying rubbish and God is speaking through your mouth and making them to see sense in whatever you are saying. And God can make them to call you and give you that job. In the name of Jesus Christ, when all hopes, when all hope is lost, that's when God shows up. He shows up in a magnificent way. Trust me. There is God in heaven. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. God is evil. Therefore, that's what we are going to pray. Every power that wants to destroy you and destroy your future, let that power be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We can pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power or every power that want to destroy your future or the future of your children that has just suddenly show up and now the, the, the future is looking bleak. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we destroy that power. We don't care where the power is coming from. The power of God is the ultimate power. The devil knows it and tremble. It's us that all don't tremble because we feel that God is our papa. So we can do whatever we, we want. But the devil knows that there is power that is greater than his power. That's why we have to destroy every power that is contrary to the power of God. Destroy it in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the devil trembles when, when, he, when he hears God. He said, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, pray. Every power that wants to destroy you or want to truncate on your future, today you destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter if your future looks bleak. There is God in heaven. There is God that will restore you back. There is God that will restore everything that you have lost. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is God to restore back your health. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If there is any missing part in your body, there is God because there are so many, uh, uh, so many spare parts in heaven. God will restore it back. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing that God cannot do. Believe you me. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you have to pray that God destroy every power that wants to destroy your future and the future of your children. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That thing that has suddenly showed up. Suddenly. Showed up from nowhere. And you are hearing negative reports. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we cancel it. You will not hear any more negative results. In the name of our, our, our Lord Jesus Christ. But when you go, you will know that, oh, everything is okay. You are settled. You are fine. So shall it be in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But this year, here is for good news. Your ear is not for bad news. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I want you to pray that, Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, my ears, this is my two ears, is for good news. It's not for bad news. It's not for bad comments. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my ears are for good news. It's not for bad news. We cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Another prayer I want us to pray right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That every agenda and counsel of the wicked, let it be destroyed forever in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine Natalia? Immediately, she did not even mourn for her own child that died. She went and gathered the, grand, the, the grandchildren and killed every single one of them except one that was stolen away. How can tell my mama? Roko seke patori patari ma suri mama santa. Ori ya mama mama roko seke ri mama kuya mama santa. Ri patori ya mama kuya mama suri mama santa. Ori ya mama 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 roko seke patoko seke ri mama. Ri mama 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 roko seke mama sente. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every agenda and the cancer of any wicked spirit, of any wicked atalaya spirit, be destroyed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed. Can't take the capato. Rima Baba Baba, Rocco Sete Pato, Rima Se, Rima Baba Sente. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. After this program, please pray these prayers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Korea Mama Sente came, Mama Sente. I told you this girl, she was crying when she called me. She was crying because all hope was lost. She didn't know what to do. That means she's going to repeat another year and it's a heavy school fees. It's not just a one, one, one penny school fees. And that means, this man said, no, you go where you have been. I, I have failed you. You cannot make it. But God visited her and restored back that hope. And that Atalaya was destroyed in her life. Today, she was so happy. She was just rejoicing. 
And I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because when Athaliah died, the children of Israel, they were rejoicing. And that was what happened to her. The Athaliah in her life died. And she was rejoicing today. And I say you will rejoice by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I was listening to a testimony. And the man said, the strong man of my, father, uh, of my father's company died. And she said, and he said, I mean to say, and he said, and he went to his barrier. I say he, she, he, he went to his barrier. I tell you, in the name of Jesus Christ, every strong man of your life, every strong man of your family, we command you to die. And you will go and put sand in their graves. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, any strong man that represents Atalaya in your family, any strong man that represents Atalaya in your father's family, people are just dying anyhow. Oh, can't they? Kuria Mama said, the father today, we command them to die in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we will go for their barrier. And we will put sand in their, in their grave. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I listened to the man's testimony, it was awesome. Kuria Mama said, Mama sent it. Roko said, any strong man in your life must die in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Korea ma santa riba ma santa. Oria ma mama, Roko said, kema ma santa. Oria ma mama, Roko said, kema ma santa. Oria ma mama, Soko ma ma santa. I want you to pray that I will fulfill my future. I will fulfill the counsel of God in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will fulfill the counsel of God in my life. Oh, my children, my husband, everything that concerns me, my loved ones, they will fulfill the counsel of God in their lives. Let me tell you, what you say is what happened. Because God said to the children of Israel, as I hear you say, so will I do unto you. As you talk, he said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Open your mouth and talk. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I said, I will fulfill God's counsel in my life. I will fulfill the, my future. The future, I will fulfill it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The counsel of the enemy, you will not fulfill. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Oh, can't tell him, Oh, Mama sent it. Therefore, I want you to take back your glorious future. Take it. Say, Father, I take back my glorious future. Say, Papa, I take back my glorious future. Say, I take back my glorious future. Say, I take back my glorious future. In the name of Jesus, I take back my glorious future. Take it back. Take it by force. In the name of Jesus, take back your glorious future by force. In the name of our Lord Jesus, say, I take it by force. Ah, enough is enough. No more CC Christian. No more. Don't cry for this for Satan. Satan is supposed to cry for us. It's about time he sees us and run away. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Say, Father, I take back my right, my, my right, my, my right choice position. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Where you are meant to be. Ah, go and sit on your seat. Years ago, I tell you this story. Years ago, I used to be. You know, sometimes it, uh, humility is not stupidity or, or humility is not timidity. Some people, you are so, you feel that you are so humble. I don't want people to feel that. I don't want people to know you when you go. So when I was going somewhere and they invited me to go and preach somewhere. And I was like feeling so, uh, uh, what, what would I call it? So unworthy, feeling so intimidated. I said, God, what am I going to say? And the Lord spoke. I was in the, in, in the air, in the plane and the Lord spoke to me. Sit on your seat. It's not a sin. Ah, I said, God, he said, sit. And I had it deep inside my spirit. He said again, sit on your seat. It's not a sin. My eyes woke up. God has given us, given us a seat to sit. And sit on it. Yes, we need the spirit of humility. We need humble spirit. Because that's the spirit that our Lord Jesus Christ operates on. But God, did, Jesus Christ did not operate in timidity. That's why he was able, able to face those Sadducees and the Pharisees and, do, and those and those who they call it, those who call themselves priests and the Levites. Jesus was able to face them. Sometimes you have to rise up and sit on your seat. Never again will you be there, not anymore. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I was so unworthy. I was feeling so intimidated. I said, why did these people call me? They did that were just complaining and complaining. God said, sit on your seat. And that day it was glorious. God showed up. 
Let me tell you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God will show up on your behalf in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter whatever you may be facing. This almighty father that we serve will show up in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God will show up in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I want us to pray. You are going to sit on anything sitting on your seat. There are many people that are meant to be servants. They have exchanged. We talked about glory um, last week. Claiming back your glory, restoring back your glory. Some are, some has, your glory has been exchanged. It's given to a servant. And we are there looking. He said, God, what is happening to me? Father, restore me. Go and sit on your seat. Or sit any servant or anything sitting on your seat. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I sit on my seat. I don't sit anything or anybody sitting on my seat that is not meant to sit on my seat. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, say today, or oh, I, I, or oh, oh God, I'm speaking too fast, right? Now. Praise the Lord. God is faithful. I am, I am on fire for Christ in the name of Jesus. Say, I unseat anyone sitting on my seat in the name of Jesus Christ. Unseat anybody sitting on your seat. I unseat anybody sitting on my seat in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Oh, Karia Mama said, Are you here today? You are crying. He said, God help me. God help me. God said, I am here. I am here. He said, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will sit on your seat in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing God cannot do. With God, all things are possible. It doesn't matter if the glory is like nothing, nothing. God will bring something out of nothing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God will give you beauty for ashes. He will give you beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody, but I know that there's somebody on the line that is here today. You have lost all hope. You are just there. In short, you are full of confusion. You don't even know what to do. But God is talking to you today. He said, I will give you beauty for ashes. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he will restore back your lost glory. Your future will suddenly start to shine. In the name of Jesus, I hear it will shine brighter and brighter. People that did not, let me tell you, short, let me say right now. By next month, things will start happening. You'll be wondering, what's going on here? You'll be wondering, and you'll be happy. Say, God, I don't know what you're doing. And God will do it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are finished. All of a sudden, things will start happening. It will just start happening. And I pray for everybody online today that things will start to happen for you for good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. The last but not the least prayer. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, let something start to happen for me today. Let something start to happen for me for good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let something start to happen for me for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Father, I just want to thank you for today, for just before you go to bed, preparing soul for heaven. I pray, oh God, that all the prayers that we have prayed today, Father, will cover our prayers with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. May God bless you as you have joined just before you go to bed, preparing soul for heaven. Today, I'm also representing my husband by the grace of God. I believe God by Wednesday, I say again, that he will be able to join us. Today, he was not able to join us. So I'm, I'm just sitting on his seat to share this prayer with us today. May God bless you. Have a good night sleep. God bless you. Shepherd, I shall not want. Make it me to love.
Your sweetness, me. 